up everybody and welcome back to my channel I'm so excited about today's video I'm shopping at a store that I've only been to once in my entire life but I got so many requests to check it out and that is the at home store it's kind of like from what I remember this could be completely way off and I will definitely like circle back to this comment but it kind of reminds me of like if Big Lots and Home Goods had a baby which might sound really weird but that's what it reminded me of when I went the first time but like I said I've only been here once and it was years ago and from what I remember there's some things that I'm excited that I hope it's like what I remember I don't even think that was English I haven't finished my coffee yet but anyways if you are new here my name is Katie I'm from Orlando Florida and I do like shop with me videos decorate with me videos home decor videos anything to do with home goods Target so if you love videos like that definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button while you're down there I have a couple of exciting things to share with you guys first of all I'm finally announcing my official upload schedule I have been uploading on the schedule for a few weeks I wanted to kind of like test it out before I officially announce anything because I wanted to make sure that I could stick with it it's definitely a lot of hard work but I'm gonna be posting a video every single Sunday Tuesday and Thursday or Tuesday Thursday Sunday if you're like me and you feel like the week actually starts on Monday but yes Tuesday Thursday and Sunday so I guess if you count weeks starting on Sundays then today is the first official video of my official upload schedule I'm really excited about it and I just know that bringing you guys three videos a week is gonna help my channel grow and just give you guys all the info about all your favorite stores and decorate me videos and things like that I actually made my own coffee today you guys should be really proud of me I haven't been going to Starbucks as much I've been like buying the cold brew the Starbucks cold brew and then because I have all the syrups making it at home it's definitely not the same but it's still really good this cold brew that I'm drinking today this is a little tip for you guys so like probably every month or two times a month they do happy hour so like from two to seven it's buy one drink get one free well yesterday me and Brian went but we were also getting a coffee for one of my friends so we had an extra coffee so we decided to get a venti cold brew with no ice just like completely black they filled the coffee up to the brim so me and Brian each got a cold brew today and it cost us nothing because it was a free drink yesterday and we got two free drinks today so that's helpful tip for you guys if you're looking to do happy hour you go and it happens to be happy hour and you don't need another drink or like there's nothing else you can think of just get like regular cold brew and then you can just add ice and like put your own creamer in it the next day and it's a free coffee and it's technically Starbucks but anyways back to today's video and what we are doing today today I'm doing a full tour of at home this is probably gonna be a really long video so if you make it to the end you are a champion and I love you so much I'm gonna be showing you all the Christmas any fall clearance that they have everything they have I'm literally just gonna go over the whole store because it's new to me and it's definitely probably new to you guys I don't really know how many of these stores that they have or like how many locations they actually have but I'm really excited to go through the whole store I'm hoping that we find some good stuff I'm in full swing shopping for our new apartment I posted a video about like our style inspiration and what we're going for in my last video so if you haven't seen it I will definitely go ahead and link it down below for you guys but I don't think I need to keep blabbing on I think I went over everything my Starbucks tip my new upload schedule I hope that you guys have been loving the new camera quality and the new audio quality I've been working so so hard on it so I really hope that it sounds good and looks good for you guys you guys have been giving me some really really good feedback on it and it just means the world to me so thank you so much but like I was saying I'm not gonna keep blabbing on we're gonna head into at home and we're gonna see what this store is all about the store is absolutely insane it's another one of those situations where I'm completely overwhelmed because there's so much stuff and I want to show it to you guys and I will but oh my gosh the store is insane right when you walk in is their Christmas tree display and they have the tree of my dreams it's a 12 foot flocked tree and someday I will have my two-story living room where I can have my 12 foot tree if it's the last thing I do. This is the beautiful 12 foot flocked tree. It's so, so pretty, but I'm also loving this white one. It's a white flocked tree. So it like just looks like really, really nice and thick. Like the branches are super, super nice quality, which is different than there's another white one behind it, which is a lot cheaper. This one's 284 and that one's 99 and that one's not flocked. And that one just looks like even more fake. I mean, obviously like a white tree doesn't and isn't going to look real, but it just looks way nicer quality. I'm not someone that would ever really go for a white tree, I don't think, because it's just so completely untraditional. Never say never though, like just not for like my main tree, but for a different tree, maybe. Like, I don't know, seeing it flocked like that and just like a nicer quality white tree kind of makes 
makes me change my tune a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. So to the right of the entryway is a lot of like outdoor signs. These are really cool. This one kind of reminds me of the one that I saw at Target, but this is actually like a little sleigh. And then this one's really cute, really cute like outdoor sign. And then they have like the taller ones. So these are the ones you'd put up against your door. And these are really, really cute. I love how just simple this one is. I found another one too that says season's greetings. These come in at $30 a piece. Another like more embellished one, tis the season to be jolly. I like that a lot. That's super, super cute. And the details, it just looks like really good quality. Some more outdoor stuff. They have like big lamps. These are absolutely huge. Like, I don't even know if I could really show you guys the size. Like, they're massive. They're probably two and a half to three feet tall. Those are very, very nice. They are a little bit expensive, in my opinion, because they are $100. But I don't know. I'm really, really loving the white one. Like, two of those would make such a nice winter neutral impact at your front door. And then similarly to other stores, they have, like, the light-up figurines that you put outside. The prices seem pretty good. To me, this seems like a really good price. This is the 48-inch white wire reindeer or buck, and it's only $30. And I think that's a pretty good deal compared to some other stores. Rounding the corner, I found tons of the things that you stick in the ground, like the metal ones. These are really cute. They're all $14.99. These are nice, I think, depending on like where you live. They would last longer than in other places. Um, like in snowy places, I'm just not really sure how like this metal decor holds up, but it's really cute, and I feel like even if you only get one season out of it, $14.99 is a good price. So here's actually that thing I walked through when I first went through the trees. It's 300 bucks. That's really cute. That'd be really cute if you had like a walkway or a porch like to put up on your front porch. It's really nice. Okay, weird thing before I go on, but does anyone else buckle their purses in? It's something my mom has always done since I was a little girl, and it's just one piece of little advice I took from her. If you buckle your purses into your cart, leave a comment down below. So this tree has been really popular this year, the seven foot pre-lit slim cashmere tree, but I will say that it is a lot cheaper at other stores, this exact same tree. So definitely check out Walmart or Michaels for this same tree. It will go between 50 and $60 at those stores. I don't know why, but this particular tree is just catching my eye from far away. The lights on it are just like different. Like, they're called um, cluster lights, so seven and a half foot pre-lit LED cluster light tree, but it really does look so different than all the other trees. I don't know, I've never heard of these lights before, but it's definitely something I would look into for next year because I really, really like the way the lights look from far away. It just looks like sparkly almost, I don't know. Okay, hot deal alert. These four foot Christmas trees, all these blow up things are between 15 and $20. To me, that seems like a really, really good deal. Okay, so just to give you an idea of like different size ornaments they have before I get into like the variety and the colors and all that stuff, they have these really, really huge ones, like probably two times the size of a softball and you get three of those for $5.99. Then moving up, these are more like medium size. These are pretty large as well and you get six of them for $4.99. And then these are the standard size balls and they have 16 for $3.99. Okay, so do you guys remember when I said this? But I am confident enough to say that they have the biggest Christmas ornament selection. Any color, any finish, sparkly, matte, satin, glass, plastic, any shape, any theme you wanna do. They have hundreds of ornaments for every single theme. They definitely have the best, 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 best Christmas ornament and Christmas decoration selection. I am not saying I'm taking that statement back, but what I am saying is that at home rivals them insanely. I haven't seen the full scope of everything. I literally haven't even made it into the aisles yet. I've only made it into the front area way because there's just so much stuff here. Um, but they're rivaling that a lot for me. Okay, so for the holiday displays, they kind of have them broken up into like different styles. So like light and airy, more traditional, that sort of thing. Um, and then like summer bedroom and summer like tablescapes and that sort of thing. So I really, really like that because it gives you an opportunity to see what it would look like if you wanted to do it in your own house. So I like that they've done that, plus they use things from their own store to make it. So it's a really good way for them to be like, hey, this is what you should make your house look like. For a person like me that needs all new everything, it's really, really helpful. So this is a more traditional dining room tablescape. Using their chairs, I really like these. They're like that cane that I love with gray and then beige, and I just really, really like it. I like the tablescape. It's a very, very simple tablescape with all white, which you can use all year round and then just switch out the stuff like they did. I'm guessing that's what they do with these displays. 
Hidden Mickey. Who sees it? When you live in Florida and work at Disney, I feel like you're so trained to look at Hidden Mickeys, but like I was saying, because they kept it so neutral, they're able to just switch out all the decor and make it whatever it is for that season, instead of buying like Christmas plates or Thanksgiving plates or that sort of thing, which I think is really, really cool. Here is another one. So this one's a living room, and this one's more like winter theme, so like blues and silvers. This is really, really cool. I love this. The way that they styled this is really, really cute. I like that they mixed in some bronze pieces to bring in more of those like wood tones and it's just really like modern but cozy and I really love it. This blanket ladder specifically caught my eye. I really want one of these. This one specifically is $60. Okay, down the center main aisle, they also have a lot of things broken up. It's kind of reminding me of Hobby Lobby in the sense where they break things up based off of like what it is or the decor. They also here have it broken down by like price. So this is under 40. These items start at $6.99. So they're like smaller items that are a little bit cheaper. But oh my God, you guys, this is, oh, this is a lot to process. Lots of different and all different size. Little nutcrackers. These are really, really fun. Ooh, this one's cute. It's a, ooh, it's actually quite heavy. It's a Viking. Look at that. They literally go from like pint sized to life sized. <laughs> It's pretty crazy the amount that they have. I particularly like this one where it has a little Christmas countdown. I'm all about the Christmas countdowns. Just to give you an idea for like prices, this is like a normal sized one and it's $14.99. Then they have mini ones that are $6.99 and then one of these more giant ones goes for $60. Okay, so I've walked around the whole store, kind of gotten a lay of the land and have made the decision that this is just going to be the at-home Christmas selection. So it's gonna be broken up into two parts. The first part for the at-home tour is going to be the Christmas selection, and then the second part is gonna be the rest of the store. In order for me to do this store any justice, it just has to be broken up. This store is so big and there's so much awesome stuff I wanna show you, but like this video would be an hour and a half long, and I just don't think anyone wants to watch a video that long. So I'm gonna go ahead and break it up into two parts. Today you will see the Christmas selection, and then Tuesday you will see the rest of the at-home store which is really cool and I want to buy everything but I have to just focus on the Christmas stuff or else it just gets like really overwhelming because there's so much cool stuff and I just don't feel like I could do it justice in just one video so like I said two-parter the next part after this will be coming on Tuesday but now that I've kind of like walked around and like gotten a lay of the land I changed what I said I think I said that it was like if home goods and big lots had a baby I think it's more like if Hobby Lobby and Home Goods, like five Home Goods locations combined and made one mega store as well as like Home Depot with all the trees and big lots, I don't even know. The store is insane, absolutely insane. Okay, these caught my eye because they look exactly like the ones from Target. They have like more big size ones that are 15 and then smaller ones that are $11.99 and they do light up. I went ahead and pulled up the Target app and the prices are pretty comparable. They definitely have a lot more colors to choose from, more like not as traditional colors to choose from at Target. Um, but if you're looking for more traditional ones or if you can't find the ones at Target and you have an at home near you, this is definitely another good option. So they have traditional carts like I have and these carts are actually really nice. I love that they have the little like drink holder. That's a super nice touch and then it has like a bigger area for a little kid to sit and this doesn't move like this is like permanently in there but then they also have these like bigger pallets because they do have a lot of furniture here which i'm going to be showing you guys in my next video so definitely stay tuned until tuesday but they do have bigger pallets if you are getting more furniture type items like i said they have everything separated this is the more like rustic stuff these candles are catching my eye let's see if there's hot deals on candles i mean eh, this candle is 14.99 i would definitely recommend the threshold Christmas candles from Target that are huge and only $10. Some cool gift ideas, maybe for like a teenager, like a tween. This is a jewelry making kit. That's pretty fun. This is something that I would have liked or one of my sisters would have liked. They're a bit more crafty than me, but definitely a cute little gift. They have a really cute mailbox, letters to Santa. I'd say it's probably two feet tall and this goes for $40. I have nothing to say about this except wow. They do have lots of different Christmas pillows, 
Their Christmas pillows are a pretty good deal. This is like a normal size pillow and that goes for $17.99. And then here's one that is a little bit smaller. It says nice on one side and naughty on the other and this goes for $15. These are more like glam winter pillows. Like they have this fur lined sleigh. Oh my gosh. Just really pretty, like cool toned, really, really contemporary and modern. More cool toned stuff. Um, Corella DeVille called and she wants her accent rug back. This is pretty cute and different. It almost looks like a snake skin but fur wreath. And I like how it has like the green with the pine cones. This is really cute and different. I also really like this floral arrangement. It has the wood, it's a little bit flocked, and it has these little like silver balls on them. This is really, really cute, and this is $30. Because they have so much Christmas stuff, they definitely have stuff for every style. These are the more like traditional like Santas and elves and all different like Santa apparel, all different prices too. So for instance, like this one is $24.99 next to this one, which is $34.99. They have like sitting Santas, Joker Santas, <laughs> standing. Just a Santa for every occasion. See if this was green, this would be the vibe. Like cozy, fuzzy, but just like really pretty. I actually really, really like the way that these look. They're just really, really simple. Wouldn't think to do something like that, but that's like a really great idea. The big one is $17.99, and I would say it's probably about three feet tall, and then the smaller one is $7.99, and that's probably like a foot and a half tall. As far as those go, I'm gonna look for some in colors that suit my style better, but they do have, from what I see, like candy cane ones more silvery ones and just all different sizes okay so everything I've showed so far is just stuff on the outskirts so you can see why this is two videos because this is just Christmas stuff on the outskirts like I can't even begin to explain to you how massive this store is now we're gonna get into like the aisles and like the nitty-gritty of all the stuff that they really have and I will try to include as many prices as possible okay do you guys remember the hundred times I've said that it's like the year of different textured trees I'm still continuing to stand by that statement. And also it's pretty easy for me to find those tall like floor trees that match my decor. So let me show you all the different ones that they have. They have so many and these are really, really cool. And luckily my pets don't really get into stuff. Like I don't have to worry about them like knocking these over or chewing them and we don't have cats that like, you know, claw into things or anything. So these are something that could really work. They literally have so many. This one's like webbing, and then they have like more like wooden ones, feathers, just so many, and all different prices too. They kind of fall in line with the prices from the other ones I just showed, like based on the size, but these are so cool. And these are the ones that are catching my eye. They're neutral. Ooh. Well, the battery pack fell out, but these ones are very neutral and they do have like a little bit of like silver flex in them, but from far away they just look really sparkly. These are the ones that I really like. So the smaller ones are $14.99, it's probably two feet tall, and then the bigger ones are $24.99 and these are about three feet tall. I don't know, these are really cool though, and they light up. This is another variation of a white one that is cool. It's more like, webbing almost. I actually think I like these ones better. I think that they go with my style a little bit better, but these ones are so cute. They have more like burlap ones, more like bottle brush, same sequins, traditional. They have buffalo check. It's just crazy. The frosted cranberry look. They actually have something just like these at Target. These are only $12.99. This is definitely way, way cheaper here. This is another really cute one. It's like white yarn and then has these little like gold balls in it. This one does not light up, but it's still really cute and it's $12.99. I'm a broken record, but you guys know how much I think little stuff like that just really, really changes the look of an entire space. So. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, they're linked down below. Check them out. These ornament sets are a really, really good deal. Better than any deals I've seen anywhere else, including Amazon. You get 40 pieces for $8.99, and it includes like all different types of ornaments, not even just balls. They have like snowflakes. They have all different colors. I really, really like the white one, but these are a really good deal if you're trying to decorate a Christmas tree on a budget. This is another type of set that they have. You get 120 pieces for $20, and they have a lot of different colors, 
schemes and it also comes with a lot of different types of ornaments too just like before so it would really make a tree pretty dynamic for a really good price so if you have a lot of trees you need to decorate I would consider these for sure lots of different colors to choose from like monochromatic ones very traditional ones Ooh, these are really pretty these are like blues and teals just all different types of sets. Okay, another fun thing definitely that I wanna show you guys is the fall and Halloween clearance. It's 31% off right now, which is, it's funny. I see what you did there, October 31st, 31% off. And there's some really, really cute stuff, so I wanna go ahead and show you some of the stuff that I'm gonna pick up. Okay, so some of the first things that are catching my eye are these candles. It is pumpkin balsam scented, and it is $20. It smells really, really good, so 31% off of $20 is gonna be like $14. I think that's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty giant candle, and it smells really good and would look really cute out on the counter, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Another really cute thing that's catching my eye is this, this little ceramic football shaped little dish for $6.99 plus 31% off. This is something I'm definitely gonna go ahead and grab because this would look so cute on a charcuterie board for football Sunday. Brian is obsessed with football Sunday, which in turn has gotten me into football Sunday. So all of this stuff is just really cute and perfect for that. Like these especially, we like to make like little drinks, margaritas. We are both super into like themed stuff. So these are just so cute for that. They have a lot of these like hand glass blown pumpkins for 31% off too. This one is $7.99 plus 31% off. My sister actually collects these. So they're making me think of her. They have all different like color schemes as well as like different sizes so that's making me think of her a lot these kitchen towels are quite cute but they do have a little bit of like schmutz in on them and then this is intriguing a dog scarf i wasn't sure aurora needed one but maybe now i think she does this pumpkin is another thing that caught my eye but like what what is this like i don't get it but i like the yarn pumpkin that's really cute and it's $16.99 plus 31% off. Honestly, it's kind of like a disaster under there, so definitely a lot of sifting that has to happen to like find good stuff, but I do think that there is some cute stuff hidden in here. This pillow is really, really cute. It is Artisanal Autumn for $25 plus the discount. And that's pretty nice. I like it on both sides, actually. This is just like a nice like brown suede and then sort of a floral pattern on this side. After a little bit of digging, I found this cute fall pillow. It's like a red velvet, or like a rust color actually. It says, I love fall most of all. And then I think there's another pillow in this basket, but I'm just so short. They also do have like some Halloween stuff, not much. They have some little like mats and stuff. And then these very interesting like pumpkins with skeletons attached to them and then they have these like ghost statues and this dog statue so this is 99 plus 31 percent off so closer to like 70 dollars but not that much halloween the only thing so far that's bugging me about this store is i can't find a price scanner i'm very much like a scanner like i like to see if things are on sale or how much things are and i don't know but there's no price scanners in the whole store that i have found yet maybe i will be surprised but i haven't found any price scanners yet and honestly i don't like that okay so similarly to how like the displays were broken up like with the different styles that's kind of how they have everything laid out in the aisles too which is really really nice that way if you know you have a really specific style and you're not interested in seeing anything else you can just go straight to that aisle and right now i'm in the like winter white aisle and i'm loving it it's really really nice let me show you everything that they have in here okay so yeah same vibes as like that living room setup that i showed you guys i'm really loving this like fuzzy tree although i'm not seeing a price on it so that's a little bit disappointing but i really really like it weirdly enough they actually stuck this in the tree up there i'm not really sure about that design decision but <laughs> i really like it nonetheless all different like ornaments and all that stuff little like acorns 4.99 for six all different stuff really really good prices too they have all these like ball ornaments and these are 50 pieces for only ten dollars like that's such a great deal and it's a nice mix of like glitters mats different textures 
that's a great deal. These sweater ones are really, really cute. Three different hues of blue, and you get three of them, and they're like softball size ornaments for $10. The individual ornaments, I don't think I can advocate for the price. Individuals are between five to seven dollars each, if not more. And I don't know, I just, I can't endorse that price. Although they are really, really cute, you would need like at least five to 10 for each tree and each one, so I don't know. I would probably not get that type of stuff here. The ones behind me are a little bit cheaper, so these ones are like $2.99 each, and then it kind of goes up from there. I don't know if maybe the blue is a little bit more expensive than the green i haven't been in another aisle yet so i'm not sure if like each one has its own set but these ones are actually pretty cute oh they feel kind of weird <laughs> they feel kind of like padme my dog but the snowflakes these ones are 199 so those are pretty cute i feel like that's an okay deal i'm really liking all the winter white vibes i like these trees these are a very very interesting texture they're like glittery at the top and then like fuzzy at the bottom okay so we're heading into like traditional Christmas land on this side. Individual ornaments. Ooh, the tiniest little mini ornaments for mini trees. These are really, really cute. With these, you get 20 little ornaments for $4.99. That's a good deal. This aisle is interesting. You get traditional Christmas on one side and then similar vibes to like Opal House Christmas. That's what I would compare this to with like the teals and the pinks. I think that their Opal House Christmas stuff would complement this Christmas stuff really, really nice. Okay, this little figurine is like who I aspire to be in life. She's really cute. She's a Christmas queen. This one's really, really cute too. These are really, really cute, but they're just not my style. They have lots of different Christmas signs. Some are like framed in. Other ones are more canvas ones. Lots of really, really cute stuff. This big one up here is $29.99. Next to the stuff that I compared to Opal House Christmas is the Snowed In collection. I kind of feel like this belongs in the aisle next door, but I don't set up the store. But I did find those fuzzy Christmas trees. The little one is $7.99 and the big one is $12.99. I feel like those are a really good deal. I also really, really like this wooden carved tree. This is $24.99 and it's a really good size. It's like two feet tall. All of this stuff would be really, really cute if you had like a ski house brian's family has a cabin and i just feel like this would be so perfect for it considering i can't ski to save my life i would not purchase this but it's a really really cute sign and this is only 6.99 that's a good deal it's really comparable to home goods okay this aisle makes me feel like i just stepped into the game of Candyland. it is like christmas candy cane heaven so many different types of ornament sets Seriously, there's anything you could ever imagine. Ooh, these ones are pretty cool. I like both of those. Those are different. Oh, little Santas. Okay, this is really funny. This is, I guess, something that you stick in your tree and it's like Santa's legs sticking out. This comes in at $14.99, and these are really funny. I've never seen those before. I guess if you wanted to make the world's biggest gingerbread cookie, you could buy this absolutely giant cookie cutter it's not really a cookie cutter it's just a decoration but it would be really cute if you owned like a bakery or something i feel like someone in like a hallmark movie would use this to actually make a christmas cookie because that's how ridiculous this is and that's how ridiculous hallmark and lifetime christmas movies are the world's largest cookie cutter is 59.99 it's pretty cool. The giant cookie cutter is apparently part of the Gingerbread Lane collection. Also in this collection, they have little like display houses. I think that you could make a little like neighborhood out of these. They are all very, very sparkly. And there's lots of different little housing options. This does seem to be pretty picked over. So I'm not sure if this is a popular line for at home, but it does seem to be pretty picked over. You might be thinking to yourself, wow, Katie, this is a lot of Christmas stuff. I am maybe a third of the way through the aisles of stuff I need to show you, so pray for me. Okay, I guess we're getting into the holiday hoedown collection. Some red trucks, lots of like really cute stuff. This is a gnome. We know how we feel about gnomes. This tree is cool. This line definitely has a lot more signs. This color's right up my alley. Here's just an overview of all these different signs. And little trays, perfect for charcuterie boards. This sign gives me similar vibes to the one I got at Big Lots. Definitely a different style, but it has like the beads with the hanging 
little letters. This Christmas countdown is really cool. It's a great price too. It's a big sign and you're able to move this little like wreath to the different days and this is only $17.99. The Holiday Hoedown collection is probably the biggest and most stocked collection I have seen so far. Okay, whoa, I'm seeing a lot of pink. This is the Victorian Gala or Gala collection. I'm not sure how are you supposed to say it? But I think I say gala, gala. Now I don't know. Very glitzy, tons of like pink and different pink ornaments, pink little accessories. Reminds me of my roommate. So much pink and cranberry as well as like glitter. So many beaded and glittered ornaments. Apparently all of the ornaments in this collection are under $3. Okay, these are really pretty. These are more similar to the ones from Target, like the different colors that they have. And these are probably the same price. Yeah, the small one is $14.99 and the big one is $18.99. I like this little reindeer. He is $6.99. They have a lot of nice glitzy stuff in this collection if that's what you like. They have this amazingly ornate reindeer embroidered with like sequins with glittery beaded antlers. This is so pretty and it's probably like a foot and a half wide. This comes in at $40 and I definitely think it's worth it. It's super, super unique. And then behind me in this aisle is more of the holiday hoedown collection. This collection needs to relax. There's just so much stuff. Very like rustic, almost maybe farmhouse. I'm not really sure. This is pretty cute. Brian would like you. They have like the fake presents. Those are coming in at $14.99. I definitely think those are a good deal. The fake presents are really cool. They would last forever if you decide to like actually put them under your tree. If you decided to put them outside, I would think maybe they'd last a year, maybe two years if you live in an area that doesn't have a lot of rough weather or you have a nice front porch that like covers it from like the sun and the snow and the rain and stuff. But these are really cool and these would last a long time if you take care of them. This is the Holiday Bazaar Collection. They really should have just called it the Peacock Collection. That's exactly the vibes this is giving. Teals, golds, and blues with lots of feathers. Glitter feathers, real feathers. Just all different types of stuff. This, you know what this looks like? This looks like in Beauty and the Beast, the remake. Um, oh my gosh, I can't remember who she turned into, but it's like Lumiere's wife. That's what this looks like. I like these a lot. These are like something that you stick in your tree. This one is more like stringy. And then this is more of like a puff cotton ball. These, oh, oh, it's all attached. Okay, I was not expecting that. This collection is pretty small. The rest of this aisle is taken up by a different collection called the Jeweled Noel Collection. I'm guessing you can kind of guess what that would be about. It's like all golds. Everything is like super beaded super ornate and just very like luxurious i like this collection a lot we all know i like gold this is like oh i thought it was going to be paper but it's like feels like little pieces of mirror that's a really really cool wreath that wreath is 20 dollars. this collection their little like decor items are more religious based so like manger things and like little religious statues and stuff like that. Okay, I'm absolutely obsessed with this for $6.99. Do you wanna come home with me? I love the green and gold. It's my favorite combination for the holidays. I do wish that they had like a standing one that would go with it, but he's real cute. Okay, do you guys remember when I asked you if you had like an angel on top of your tree or what? This is like kind of similar to the one I had on my tree, although I think mine was like more like cloth maybe, like on the face and stuff, but similar like dress vibes and all. Oh, I'm breaking it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, I was approaching the next aisle and I found a freaking price scanner, yes! Okay, after scanning, I learned that the pumpkin candle is not on sale, so I'm not gonna get it. I kind of hope these are on sale. I think I'm gonna get this even if it's not, but let's hope. It's not on sale. Why is all this stuff with the sale stuff? So that is kind of a bummer. All the stuff that I got off the sale table, the clearance table, isn't even on clearance, which is frustrating. I'm probably still gonna get the football stuff because I know Brian will absolutely love that stuff. He's just like me and loves themed things, so I could just totally see us in our new apartment watching Sunday football, drinking out of those little glasses and eating dip out of the little football thing. So I'm still gonna get those as a gift to him, but I'm not gonna get the pumpkin candle because 
it's not a great deal and it's just I don't know to me I don't want to pay $20 for it okay so we are getting more into like tree toppers this one is again giving me Grinch vibes I found something else that gave me Grinch vibes <gasps> an angel tree topper <laughs> They also have lots and lots and lots of different types of garlands, beaded garlands. That actually looks like quite a bit. You get 80 feet for $5.99. So if you like those types of beaded garlands, I would say that that's a really good deal. I think they're a little bit more at Target for less feet. So this is the first time I felt like this, but I feel like everything in this particular aisle is very cheap looking. Um, it's not like any of their specific lines. It's just like their at home stuff. So I'm not sure if it's meant to be more affordable because it definitely is more affordable, but all the stuff in this particular aisle looks really cheap and all the tree toppers look really cheap, but I still have several aisles of Christmas stuff to go. So I'm hoping that I find better quality tree toppers and stuff like that because this stuff is not doing it for me. The next aisle is I think the same collection of just like the more better priced like Christmas stuff. These actually look pretty nice. I like the ones on this side better. They are more neutral and they're a little bit more expensive so I feel like the price reflects that. This one is a more like fuzzy gray one and this is pretty cool. They give you another one you can like layer on top of it. It says looking for coordinating style so if you want like the layered look they give you an idea of what you can do but this one single tree skirt is $39.99. I really like all the ones on this side. I feel like all of these are nice and they are between 30 and 40 dollars personally i do feel like you can find better tree skirts at pretty much any other store home goods michaels target for a better price so i would skip the tree skirts at at home that's a weird thing to say at at home i would skip the tree skirts at home at, at home I don't know. I would be lying if I didn't tell you that Buddy the Elf just scared the absolute crap out of me when I turned around. Okay, I actually think they have a really good stocking selection. I like a lot of the white ones they have. They have more knit ones. They have more like furry ones. These ones feel a lot thicker and nicer quality. Touching these, they do feel pretty thin. These ones feel nice and plushy and they're a good price too. They're anywhere from like eight to $10. So. I'd endorse that. I feel like that's a good deal. I am still on the hunt for stockings for Brian and I, and that search is going to continue. I'm not going to be picking up any of the ones here, but I do think that the ones that they have here are really nice. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know what I'm looking for because I just can't decide on any. They have a pretty big greenery collection as well, or selection, I should say. Some of them look pretty good. They're between like 40 and, or like 25 and $60, but in my opinion, I feel like they look a little cheap for the price, so I don't think I would pick one up here unless it was on sale. All different styles too. Some of them do look pretty good. Like, I feel like this one is really, really nice looking for $30, but then like this for $30, to me, just, I don't know. I just, I'm, it's not my style, I guess. They also have lots of like more plain wreaths and garlands that you can decorate yourself. The plain garlands are a good deal. For a whole string of garland, it's only $4.99. But with that, you do have to take into account all the stuff you're gonna have to put on it. So like buying lights and little like decorations, ornaments, pine cones, whatever you wanna put on it. So like $4.99 is a great base price, but like depending on how you wanna make it, it's gonna add up quickly. I was surprised to see so many black ornaments. Um, but it's definitely a trend for this year. One of my really good friends, actually my friend that does my eyelashes, she's doing black ornaments on her tree this year. She redid her whole house style this year, similarly to how I'm doing, but hers is a different style, but she just sold everything like I did. And all of her stuff is like black and white and very modern. She has like this beautiful brown leather couch. It all looks so good, but she's doing black ornaments on her tree this year. So I definitely think it's really trendy. I don't know that I've ever seen them before this year, but I like them. Ooh, I am pooped from showing you guys all that Christmas stuff. Like I said, definitely make sure you stay tuned to Tuesday when you get to see the rest of the store. I just knew I couldn't do it any justice if I tried to squeeze it all into one video. So definitely stay tuned for Tuesday where you get to see a tour of the rest of the store. If you have one of these in your area, I would definitely check them out. This store is really cool. They do have some great prices and some really fun stuff, a lot of different collections. So I feel like there's definitely stuff for everybody and it's nice and segmented so it makes it easier for you to find. But that is gonna be it for me today. Definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.